hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, today is Monday and I am outside trying to get some fresh air and sunshine um, I just wanted to give y'all an update uh, I am not feeling well um, I'm almost certain that it is not the COVID-19 virus I don't have fever but I started getting sick on uh, well Friday morning I woke up sick uh, I could barely get out of bed when I did get out of bed my knees buckled uh, I was so weak, I just, uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't stay up, so uh, Jill had to call out of work, and uh, she's going to be taking a, a short leave of absence until I get to feeling better, and I'm able to take care of the children and, and take care of the household duties again, so I appreciate Jill's uh, hospital co-workers for picking up the slack for her, and for letting her have this time off so that she can take care of her family and give me the opportunity and the time to take care of myself and to get well. So I did come outside today because I know vitamin D is a, a great benefit to our health. <clears throat> it's a great healer. It makes you feel better and makes you heal faster. So uh, I am going to take my, pull my sleeves up and try to at least get some sunshine and vitamin D absorbed into my skin. So I'm taking my cold FX. Um, thank you for my Canadian friends for keeping me supplied in my cold medications. Um, I just appreciate y'all so much and I appreciate you coming back here every time I post a video and leaving comments and letting me know how y'all are doing and how your families are doing and all the things that you're doing to stay safe during this outbreak. Um, <clears throat> you know, I really don't want to talk about the COVID-19 virus because that's all we're hearing every time we turn on the news and or go online to, to read anything on Google. It's, it's all about the virus and how many thousands of people are dying from this virus. I mean, every single day, the numbers just go up higher and higher. And, um, you know, you just have to think about all the hurt and pain and anguish and all the sadness that's going on in our country today. And um, I just pray for everybody. I just want all of y'all to know that I've been praying for you, for you to stay healthy, for your family to stay healthy and safe and protected from this. Um, you know, you really do have to stay inside your home. Uh, I haven't been out in um, two over two weeks and I plan on staying in. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're just doing everything that we can possibly do to stay protected from this. And um, Jill got a notification from her work today saying, from her job, saying when she does return that she has to be specially fitted now for the N95 mask. Uh, instead of just ordering, you know, a small, medium, or large, they actually have to go into the their um, the healthcare employee health and be fitted now for the N95 mask. Because previously they thought that the COVID-19 was spread by droplets, but now they're thinking that it's um, airborne. I said a monkey could figure that out. My God, of course it's airborne. I mean, the way that it's spreading like wildfire, you don't have to just go get a, a droplet on you or somebody sneeze and spray droplets on your face or in your mouth. Of course it's airborne. I can't believe that they're just now of going to be fitting her for the N95 mask instead of just, you know, taking a chance or assuming that it was, that it's hot enough around the healthcare workers' faces. That, that really bothers me and upsets me. <clears throat> you know, if, if the healthcare workers aren't protected, then there's nobody to take care of us when we get sick. So that's, that's the, the country's number one priority. And, um, you know, I just pray for our country and I continue to pray for all the healthcare workers and to let you know how proud I am of you and I know that it's taken a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work, and just just sheer grit and determination to be able to to get up out of bed every morning and take your shower and get ready and, and report to the hospital and 
the emotional toll that it takes takes on you to treat people who are so sick and you know who are likely to die from this and and what's so bad about it is that the ones who are in ICU and the ones who are de so deathly ill from it on ventilators you know these people are all alone you know your, your family can't even come and visit you and and um, be there to hold your hand and, and to pray with you and, and to be with you whenever you do take your last breath. It's, it's just very, very sad. But I just keep reminding myself, and I hope that y'all will remind yourself that um, out of adversity comes strength. And um, hopefully that we will all get through this adversity that uh, we will all stay safe and healthy and that we will be stronger because of it. And um, I just want y'all to please leave me some comments and let me know how you're doing, how are your children doing, how are your grandchildren doing, how are your parents doing, how's your husband, how's your wife. Uh, please just let me know. You know, I am so close to so many of you. Um, all of y'all have sent me Christmas cards and get well cards when I was sick and Easter cards and just wonderful beautiful cards and I, I just have a such a closeness with all of you and I want you to know how you're always on my heart and in my mind and in my thoughts I will always cherish you and I just want to thank you again for being here and um, I want you to know how much I appreciate you and I appreciate all that you're doing for your family and the, all you're doing for your neighbors and your co-workers who are out of work. I know that you're all pitching in and helping each other and I know that there are a lot of y'all who have told me that you're making lunches and you're handing out lunches and dinners and, and food to those who are working on the front lines and helping us. And I just want you to know how proud I am of you for doing these honorable deeds to our fellow men and women. And I want you to know how much I love you. And y'all please give me a thumbs up. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye guys.